Hi friends, this is Marley and welcome back to my Roadside Homestead channel. The date today is March 1st, 2023. So I have decided to make a vlog every day in the month of March and the topic is my garden preparation. I have been very behind on my garden tasks because I've been so busy with my job and other things that I do. And so I've been trying so hard to get my garden ready. I have started a little um, seeds, but then um, I'm still like two weeks behind. So in order to motivate myself to work on starting my seeds and preparing my garden, um, I have decided to make a video every day about my progress. I am hoping that because I want to make a video every day, I will do something about my garden every day as well. To start with my daily garden vlog, I'm going to show you what seeds I have started and the plants that I currently have here inside my house. I start my seeds in my basement and I have a little setup here behind me. Um, this one right here, uh, this is where I start all of my seeds. And then on this table, um, I usually put some of the plants and then I process uh, things on this table as well. If I need to like write something, um, make some plant labels that's this is where i work in them and then we're also working on shelling the beans these are the beans that we have shelled so far it's just me and my four-year-old who does this and we have some good progress um we just mixed all of the beans and the peas that we've harvested from last year. The process is slow because I don't have any machine. So we just did all of this by hand. Um, I am still in the process of researching and I hope I can find something soon, like a little machine that I can use to remove the shell of the beans because we are going to be planting more of these kinds of beans. So if you know of any machine that I can use to shell the beans, um, I am looking for something with a reasonable price. Just let me know in the comment box below. This is my little setup for my seedlings. This tray has eggplants and peppers. And then over here, I have some purple sweet potatoes. I just started this purple sweet potatoes yesterday. And uh, there are lots of growth because these were the sweet potatoes that I left in a laundry basket. And they just started growing in the basket. But these are some old ones because this was a harvest from my 2021 garden and so i'm just gonna be using them for growing the slips and then here my peppers and eggplants um, are in a 72 cell tray and then you see here i have a heat mat because the temperature in my basement right now is it's actually warmer today. It's almost 70. But yesterday when I started my seeds, it was 65 degrees. But well, anyway, I have this heat mat to help with the germination of my peppers and eggplants. And then over here, I have just started some ginger. Oh boy, these ginger plants are late. Because in my area, and I am in Zone 7, Kentucky, I usually start my ginger in January. But I think I have a friend who starts hers in December. And I think it's a lot better to start the ginger in my area in December. However, 
I know I am very much behind in the ginger. So this will probably go into some containers instead of in my raised bed so that I can put this inside my house whenever it gets cold sometime in October and give it about one month additional growth so that my ginger will have bigger roots. Friends, I realize that it is almost midnight here in my neck of the woods and so I'm gonna leave you right here but I will be back tomorrow with some more updates from my homestead. That's gonna be all for today. Thank you for watching and see you later.